Thank you very much, uh, all excellences, ladies and gentlemen, and especially my fellow colleagues, the veterinarians. Today I speak on behalf of farmers, and uh, I'm very glad to be here today. This is an opportunity that I missed when I was a very practicing veterinarian for a number of years, but I have an opportunity to attend as I represent the farmers of the world under the World Farmers Organization. So it is very memorable and I really treasure it. So forgive me if I am a little bit biased towards livestock because I am a veterinarian and I'm very proud to be one of them. I would like to thank the OIE president and the director general who invited me to be here today to this 84th general session of the World Animal Health Organization. This is a fundamental event in the institutional life of the OIE, and I'm very happy to be with you. Discussing such important issues for farmers as animal health, livestock farming is almost as old as human civilization. The first proof of livestock husbandry goes back to domesticated sheep in 19,000 BC in a settlement in Shanida near northern Iraq. Livestock has been providing nutrients with a near perfect biological value contributing to current human development. Livestock production does contribute 40% of the global value of agriculture output and is a significant global asset with a value of $1.4 trillion. The livestock sector is increasingly organized in long market chains that employ at least 1.3 billion people globally and directly support the livelihoods of 600 million poor smallholder farmers in the developing world. Keeping livestock is an important risk reduction strategy for vulnerable communities, and livestock is important provider of nutrients as well as traction for growing crops in smallholder systems. Nevertheless, Livestock is often given less attention than crop agriculture development and food production. Livestock production and animal health are extremely relevant in contributing to food security. Considering that the international community is committed to face the zero hunger challenge and eradicate poverty and hunger by the next 15 years, the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goal number two, end hunger, achieve food security and improve nutrition, and promote sustainable agriculture becomes a priority in the global agendas. We need to guarantee to feed the world, the whole population that is constantly increasing, especially in Africa, followed by Latin America and Asia. The need of efficient food production has never been greater. Urbanization and biofuel production are reducing the land availability. Climate change, lack of water and soil degradation are decreasing harvests. Meanwhile, developing countries and the growing world population are demanding more animal proteins. In this complex context, farmers are called to produce healthier and protect food for a world population that requires higher standards. This predic predicament is meaningful for the v vitality of livestock farming and its future role in food production. According to the World Farmers Organization and also of the OIE, the world demand for animal pro protein, like milk, eggs, and meat, 
is expected to rise by 50% by the year 2020. Booming demand in the world's most rapidly growing economies for food derived from animals has led to a large increase in livestock production, supported by major technological innovations and structural challenges in the sector. At the same time, millions of rural people still keep livestock in traditional production systems where they support their livelihoods and household food security. The role of livestock and its contribution to ensure food security and nutrition has been recognized with the policy debates at the global level. In October 2014, the United Nations Committee on World Food Security, CFS, requested the high-level panel of experts on the food security and nutrition to conduct a study on the sustainable agriculture development for food security and nutrition, including the role of livestock. The report of this study will be officially launched on the 1st of July, feeding into the CFS policy recommendations on sustainable agriculture development and livestock. These recommendations, which will be negotiated by the CFS stakeholders in September, will be presented for the endorsement to the CFS 43 plenary session in October 2016. CFS stakeholders will identify policy steps on the important contribution that sustainable livestock production could offer to achieve food security and nutrition. The nutritional contribution of livestock to food security is also a priority for the World Farmers Organization. Recognizing animal production is as one of the pillars of the agriculture sector. I would like to inform you that in 2012, the World Farmers Organization published its recommendations for eliminating rural poverty and achieving food security. The best way to secure food security is to make sure farmers around the world receive a fair price for their produce and that they have sufficient financial security and stability to invest in the future and achieve productivity improvements, including in the livestock sector. WFO is giving top priority to pressing national governments and international organizations like OIE to implement these recommendations in a coordinated way. This is crucial to maximize the potential of farmers to ensure food security and maintain our valuable resource of land, water, in the best condition for future generations. In 2015, the World Farmers Organization established a hard hoc working group on livestock, responsible for the preparation of an action plan to coordinate FO activities in this area. With the adoption of the 2030 Agenda, the issue of the sustainable sustainability has become a top priority in all policy debates. Disseminating sustainable models of production and consumption in all agriculture-related activities would be instrumental to the double goal of achieving food security and preserving the environment. An efficient and sustainable animal farming provides improvements to the population health, contributing to mitigate climate change and helping farmers to access market and gain a better position in the value chain. Unfortunately, Livestock farming is now under pressure. It is assumed to contribute both directly and indirectly to climate change through the emission of greenhouse gases. It has an impact on public health by transmission of diseases from humans, from animals to humans, and the contribution of antimicrobial resistance. 
a recent paper by the Global Agenda for Sustainable Livestock State that an evidence-based, all-in-one, and unifying debate on the role of livestock is sustainable development is such is needed. The World Farmers Organization strongly believes in a sustainable growth of livestock production, meeting clear sustainability criteria, making strategic choices, and setting out specific roadmaps. Sustainability, livestock farming, must address global food security, rural development, animal health and welfare, public health, and an equilibrium environment. Livestock products must score high on the Latte Index, the local, authentic, trustworthy, trustable, and ethical. Sustainable growth should occur at a global level in all continents, addressing the increasing global demand for food where quality will be the lever to world markets. It has to address volatility in these markets for both resources and livestock products. It has to consider social expectations of societies and consumer related to landscape, environment, and climate all over the world. It should make optimal use of biomass, invest in production with low energy cost, be thoughtful about GMOs, develop local vegetable protein pro production, but also monitor climate change. Sustainable livestock production must be oriented to improve the economic environment and livelihood of producers, their families, and rural communities. For these reasons, investments in different production types are necessary. All farmers need also, a, all farmers need also to receive an acceptable income from livestock production. We should stop calling them animal farmers, but recognize them as livestock entrepreneurs. Farmers' or oriented training should give them entrepreneurial skills, thus and making livestock production an attractive and profitable business. Healthy animals are of a paramount importance for sustainable livestock production. Healthy animals are a safe conduct for the access of global markets. Animal health contributes to the animal welfare, whereas animal welfare contributes to better health. Five years ago, the OIE announced the eradication of rinderpest from the world during its General Assembly. It was the first animal disease that would be deleted from the list of the highly contagious viruses with an enormous impact on economy and trade. Let us remember that it took 700 years to achieve that. The other diseases on that list don't give the impression to disappear very soon. Avian influenza keeps traveling the world. Foot and mouth disease remains difficult to eradicate in many regions, even with effective vaccines available. African swine fever cannot be eradicated in Eastern Europe due to its intense interaction between domesticated animals and wildlife. Lumpy skin disease emerges from Africa to Europe. And although pest de petit ruminants is nominated as next animal disease to be eradicated from the world, it still occurs in most African countries, in the Middle East, in Central Asia to South and East Asia. The World Farmers Organization calls upon national and international governmental organization to invest more in novel tools to the eradication of all devastating diseases. New generations of vaccines 
diagnostics and drugs are necessary to take a few more of these diseases from that list. Also, identification of animals and registration of animal movement should be implemented on a wider scale as it is a cornerstone for disease control. In 2012, WFO signed a cooperation agreement with the OIE the year following the creation of WFO. This agreement shows that the World Farmers Organization highly values the importance of ensuring a prosperous and a sustainable livestock sector through the improvement of animal health. Also in this sector, partnership is key to reach common goals in the most effective manner. Antimicrobial drugs play a critical role in maintaining animal health. However, antimicrobials are often misused for treatment and prevention of diseases in livestock sector. Antimicrobial resistance is an issue of increasing concern, and it is also the center of global policy debates on food-related issues, including fowl. Therefore, the World Farmers Organization has identified micro microbial use and resistance as a priority case study to be addressed by the World Farmers Organization Working Group on Livestock. AMR is an increasingly serious threat to the global public health that requires action across all government sectors and societies. Prudent and responsible use of antimicrobials is required in both public and animal health management. It is necessary in livestock production, independent from any public health issues. It is important that each country has a national strategy for eradicating antimicrobial use and resistance in livestock production. On the other hand, antimicrobials must remain available for treatment of animals. The World Farmers Organization will collaborate with FAO to obtaining a zero measurement on global antimicrobial use and resistance and systems for prudent use from its WFO members. The final aim of the AMR case study is to add a chapter on antimicrobial use to the World Farmers Organization policy document, a fair and balanced functioning food chain, and to deliver international guidelines on prudent use of antibiotics that are, that are supported by the farmers. A draft chapter on the antimicrobial use for the World Farmer Organization policy document will be prepared in 2016 by the Working Group on Livestock to be adopted by the General Assembly in 2017. Finally, I would like to stress the key role of livestock in contributing to sustainable development. Livestock farming could play a significant role in achieving the sustainable development goals, and most importantly, it can allow people not to go to bed hungry. Investments in livestock sector is required to improve the quality and quantity of animal production, ensuring high level nutritional standards. Farmers are crucial actors to reach these ambitious goals, but the need to work in partnership with other stakeholders to be more effective. I recall the value of the collaboration between WFO and OIE, hoping that this will be strengthened in the future to ensure that animal health and a sustainable livestock farming is promoted. I would like to thank you all, and I wish you a fruitful 84th OIE general session. Thank you.